day. Uh, my name is Brian Apolizari. I'm the Marketing Product Manager for Grace Construction Products, representing our North American residential waterproofing products. I'm here today with my good friend, Jimmy Elwood, Field Tech Service Manager, to demonstrate Biker Envy, a new weather-resistant barrier from Grace. When you think about a weather-resistant barrier, there's really four primary functions of a weather-resistant barrier. First off, and most important, needs to work as a water barrier. It needs to prevent water from getting into your, into your home and reaching wood-sensitive, uh, wood-based materials that are sensitive to water. Secondly, it needs to act as an air barrier, so it needs to limit airflow both into and out of the building envelope, help save on your energy costs. If you have air leakage, especially during the winter when you're heating your home, hot air escapes out through leakage in your building envelope, what happens is, use one, you have a uh, home that is uh, leaky, so it's not as comfortable for the occupants. Secondly, what happens is your HVAC unit has to work harder to maintain a certain level of temperature within the house. And as your HVAC system works harder, what happens is you drive up energy costs. Thirdly, it needs to be breathable. So it needs to allow for the, the uh, vapor transmission through the exterior of the envelope. So what happens is, using that same example I just talked about, you have warm air inside the house, you're heating your home, warm water vapor is transmitting towards the exterior, towards the cold sections of your house. You need that weather barrier on the outside to be breathable to allow that moisture vapor to transmit through and out towards the exterior of the home. If the material is not breathable, the problem is then is that moisture vapor, as it reaches the exterior of the home, hits a wall essentially and basically cannot escape. So what happens then in turn is that material turns to water, it condenses, and it's, it sits in your wall assembly. So fourth, it needs to be durable. It needs to resist tearing, it needs to stand up to UV exposure during the construction process. And third, if in fact it is damaged, it needs to be easily repairable. Biker Envy is a new weather resistant barrier from Grace and has all the essential features that are critical for a high performance weather barrier. First off, Biker Envy is a fluid applied, fully adhered, vapor permeable, durable weather resistant barrier. It's designed for above grade wall assemblies consisting of substrates using both OSB and plywood substrates. The first critical feature I'd like to highlight for you today is the fact that Biker Envy goes down seamless. Uh, tape joints, seams, fasteners, those are all opportunities for air and water intrusion. So what we'd like to do today is I'd like to turn it over to Jimmy and he can demonstrate how we properly treat a joint. Thanks, Brian. I want to show you briefly what is required for the personal protective equipment that should be used and Grace recommends. As you can see, I have a set of coveralls on. It's good for protection of your clothes. Basically, we use a 3M, uh, the P95 uh, dust and uh, nuisance respirator, and also some uh, nitro gloves, so uh, that's all the, all the equipment that's required. I'm going to put that on. While I'm doing that, I want to show you the type of equipment that's used. Basically, it's a simple airless sprayer, uh, available at a lot of, a lot of different uh, distributors around North America. This is an airless sprayer capable of about 3,000 PSI, which will give you an airless atomized spray pattern at the end. The gun that's actually used to spray it, in this case, I have a uh, Graco XTR5 and a 519 tip two safety guards on this. Basically, you can have the tip in the upright position and the lock on the handle to prevent it from triggering. To release it, you drop this down, put that forward. What I'm gonna show you right now is we have an exterior corner, okay, how to play a pre and post apply. I've taken a liberty of spraying this out earlier so that it's dry and it's, e it's just easier to work with. On the base down here is this piece put in as pre-applied and then the, the product can be sprayed over top of that directly over and you want a minimum lap of three inches back, okay. On the post applied, it's very simple. As you can see, I have a piece of the, uh, the Vicor Plus cut, and I'm going to apply it in this fashion, right to the exterior corner after the material's already been sprayed on. Okay? This product has a built-in rip cord. I've peeled the rip, so what it enables me to do is basically peel this, peel this back. Okay? Allows me to bring my piece up into place, align it, and stick it into place. Now what I can do is start my release liner again, roll it around, and there you have a nice finished exterior corner. The final treatment to that is to roll it, okay, these are pressure sensitive adhesives, so this will roll out any, any air bubbles and prevent the migration of water, that's a complete corner. What I want to do now is I'm going to demonstrate how to properly treat or pre-treat uh, an end joint or a side joint on your, on your panels. The application is going to be basically a, an 8 to 10 mil light scratch coat and with that I'm going to embed the NV tape and uh, space it evenly across the joint. 
Uh, any joints that are greater than a half an inch, we want to make sure that we have these pre-caulked going down through. So you want to do a inspection through, get this material in place, let it dry, and then come back in. With that, I'm going to start the application. I'm going to show you a light scratch coat of 8 to 10 mils on the end joint and the side joint. Now, this, is our, this is our product here that we're using. This is the NV joint tape. So use a razor knife to cut it, and then just basically embed it in. What we have now, as you can see, this is all properly prepared joints, okay, and I'm going to show you, I'm going to demonstrate how to put on a 30 mil continuous membrane application over top of that. So with that, I'm going to spray in a north to south uh, fashion to start and then I'm going to reverse it to an east-west type of fashion so that I have cross-hatching and any imperfections that will help fill in the voids and uh, the defects in the, in the substrate. Now to assure that I have the 30 mil, we have two different types of gauges that we can actually use, okay? One is an incremental in uh, five millimeter increments, okay? And to do it, you're basically going to have these points touch into the liquid, into the liquid and see how deep it is. So we are looking for 30 mils continuous wet, which will dry back to 15 mils dry. So what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to take this and set it into the surface, and as it touches and leaves marks in there, and I can also see the, the wet on here, okay, is I have about 28 mils on there, 26 to 28 mils on there right now. So with that, I can just apply a little bit more, or I have a single point contact, and as this sets in place, I can see that I've got, in this case, oh, close to 60 mils there, about 50 mils there. Okay, so what I just demonstrated there was a 30 mil continuous membrane spray applied. And in order to do that, we used a Spraytech 2510, capable of generating about 3,000 PSI. And it sprays about a gallon a minute. Another acceptable practice is being able just to roll it. So as simple as a, um, I call them a ladder for your immersion into a five gallon pail. That can be set in tight nap roller, okay, and we'll demonstrate this area in here with the actual roll application. Now in this case, the thickness control is a little harder to do, as you can see, but still achievable. And this actually takes a little more time. Again, I'm going to do the joint basically in the same fashion. Okay. And there's your completed assembly. The first critical feature I'd like to highlight with Viker Emery is the fact that it's fully adhered. Well, after Jimmy has sprayed this product, in about six hours, this product will be dry to the touch. 24 hours will be fully cured. Important point I want to make here, though, is that the fact that the material bonds directly to the substrate. There's no opportunity whatsoever for water to get past it because it forms a continuous barrier and protects that sheathing against the moisture damage. Thirdly, another point I want to make is the fact that fasteners, as you have countersunk fasteners, again, as we sprayed the field, all those fasteners are covered as well. So any type of weak points are all coated and covered by the material itself. Okay, another point I'd like to highlight is the fact that um, Envy is a very user-friendly application. You can do it more than one way. So if you have access to an air sprayer like Jimmy demonstrated, that's perfect, you can spray. But if you don't, you still, you can use a, a, typical, a typical roller. You can roll the product on just as well. One thing I'd like to highlight, as I mentioned earlier, is it's important to maintain the integrity of the weather-resistant barrier. And what I mean by that is any type of hole or penetration through that weather-resistant barrier is a potential entry point for water or air. Now, what we've done here is I'm showing you here a couple post-applied fasteners. Um, to kind of simulate what would happen once you're putting on the exterior cladding of a home. You're putting thousands of additional penetrations through that weather-resistant barrier. And what makes Envy different is the fact that once you put these, these products or these post-applied fasteners through the product, what Envy does is it actually forms a gasket around that fastener. And we've actually verified this through ASTM air leakage and water resistance testing. It offers simplified detailing. Details around uh, the windows, doors, any types of penetration are really one of the most potential or the biggest weak points 
around the building envelope for air and water intrusion. What we have here, as Jimmy's demonstrated, we've already flashed a window. Details are the most critical areas around the building envelope where there's always a potential for air and water intrusion. And what I have Jimmy do is kind of show you how easy it is to get a real nice detail. Yeah, like I say, we've taken the liberty of flashing this window in, so it's, it is the simplicity of this product is I can just basically spray it right around, and it allows me to either post or pre-apply. So in this case here, we've got the pre-applied application, and then to complete this detail, all I need to do is spray the 30 mil continuous membrane with a minimum lap back up on three inches on the, onto the membrane. You want to pay particular attention to their top side detail where water would could not or could get in behind and start to migrate. So you want to make sure this end, top end is sealed up a minimum of 30 mils. Uh, a lot of times what I'll do is put just a little bit heavier application there to give it a good water, uh, water shedding effect. All right. And that would complete that detail. Okay, thank you for joining us today. And uh, if you'd like some more information on Biker Envy, please go to www.graceconstruction.com.